Okay, hi, hello. So for today's video, I'm gonna introduce uh, about the fish shell. I'm Farah from a junior state, uh, majoring in cybersecurity, and I'm in my third year. So my objective today is to know about is to getting know about fish, and we will get to know about the fish basic commands and their features. And also the preparation is that we need to install the fish first so, and then you can see this video. So first of all, we will look at the fish overview. So fish is a friendly interactive shell. So in other words, uh, it is also called as fish. So it is a user friendly command line shell. And also, it is more intuitive and interactive as it's suitable for novice and also experienced users. So everything that can be done in other shell language should be possible to do in fish. So fish may rely on external commands in doing so. Secondly, fish should be also user friendly, but not at the expense of expressiveness. And most trade-off between power and ease of use can be avoided with careful design. Thirdly, whenever possible, without breaking the above goals, uh, fish should follow the POCSID's uh, syntax. And these goals are achieved through the following specific design principle. The first is the law of orthogonality. The shell language uh, should have a small set of orthogonal features. Any situation uh, where two features are related but not identical, one of them should be removed and then the other should be made powerful and general enough to handle all common use cases of either feature. And secondly, the law of responsiveness. Uh, the shell should attempt to remain responsive to the user at all times, even in the face of contented or unresponsive file system. It is only acceptable to block in response to a user initiate action, such as running a command. And thirdly, the law of user focus. So when designing a program, one should first uh, think about how to make an intuitive or powerful program. Implementation sh issues should also be uh, considered once the user interface has been designed. And then, most like, uh, most uh, lastly, the law of discoverability. So a program should be designed to make its feature as easy as possible to discover for the user. So now I will show you guys fish in terminal. Okay, so right now I'm opening up my terminal and now it is under bash. So for us to uh, go into fish, it's easy. You just need to type in fish, click enter. And then as you can see, we are now have entered the fish shell. But in case if you want to go back to bash or any other shell, then you can just simply uh, type in exit and then you are you have uh, finished your uh, fish but now since I'm gonna explain about fish I'm gonna go back inside to fish shell so first uh, features that I'm gonna talk about is the um, real-time suggestion so I will show you an example so now I have typed in the GR so as you can see there will be a gray color words next to the GR this is the real life uh, suggestion this feature what it what does it mean by uh, real life suggestion as uh, an example just like when you went into Google or any other web browser when you type in uh, like for example uh, date and then 
there will come out of many of options for you to choose like a suggestion like date of month or like date of birth or something that shows that based on your history and your uh recently uh watch or recently open tab or something it is based on your history and your liking it's like a web browser so now here just as based in your history and your most favorite uh, comments or something they these features will give you su suggestion on the most used comment or something so for like g there's the git log so that means this so these features it makes us easier the user easier to use and also save time as we don't need to type long or having any typo especially when you have to type in a very long command or directory or path this is one of the main functions of fish and the next feature is the syntax highlighting as you can see when i type something it will show a certain color so for example i want to make a directory or a file and then i it should be make directory but i miscorrect it and it will become mmdir this color red color means in invalid command aka a wrong command so there is nothing there is no command that say that has this word so user can easily find out uh, the wrong command based on this red color but if you make it into the correct uh, command then it will change color to this as according to my notebook uh, as according to my notebook it changed to dark purple which is the mac, ter mac territory which is a valid complete command so as you can see red is for the invalid command and dark purple uh, is the right command in other notebooks or in other terminal other user usually it come out as a dark uh, blue but mine it come out as the dark purple and now as uh, for another example is that um let's save cat so you can see it's a red now because i didn't put a space between and now i'm typing in this and as you can see there's the underlying commands this shows a path, a uh, valid file path. If you type a long path, but then it's a red color, it shows that, that you have mistyped or you, or you have the path is not exist or something. But if it's valid path, then it will show you this underlying command. And also, as you can see here, there is a gray color. This gray color shows the in the real time suggestion features as I explained before. So when you want when if this is the correct one, then you can just use uh, you can just navigate by using the arrow key, ta da! And yeah, it became a valid path, uh, valid path command. So these are the default color, and you can change it by running a. Uh, a certain command so for example like if you don't like this red or purple color and you want to change it according to your style then you can change it by simply running the um, fish config command so for example you want to sable coloring then the fish config uh, fish configure team choose none that basically means that you want nothing you don't you want to disable color so you choose a non color but you if you want to choose another theme then you can just simply type 
team here then we'll uh then you can see all the color in the web browser and it will come out if you type it oh and another thing is that as you can see everything behind this is a light blue this means it's the options to the dark purple commands so this is the main command and this is the options to the command this feature allows us to tell whether the command we type valid or not and thus finding out the error more easily and as you can see up till now uh, fish runs commands like other shells you type a command followed by its argument and spaces are separated for example echo hello world so if we run this then it runs the command echo with our arguments hello world but in, make it, in many cases it's not so if you need to pass an argument that includes a space you can escape with a backslash or quote it using single or double quotes for example you make a make territory um my files so this is uh saying that <coughs> sorry so this is shows that you have a space between my and files so there is the um another features that tells you whether you know the color features which is also the main function of the fish and also if you in case of getting help you can just type in help to open in a web browser or meant to open it in a main page so for example if you type in then yeah there's another web uh, browser manual for you to get help which can show you a lot of comments to yours and how to manage fish and everything but if you don't want a browser you just want something in terminal then you can run simply man and then what menu page do you want so for example you want to see man set then yeah then came out a lot about the comments which comments to use and everything and if you want to go out from this main page then you can simply just uh and uh, similarly enter ctrl z and lastly another feature is the wildcard fish support the family wildcard wildcard is signified by this symbol and for example you want to find a certain file or path that contains a certain name like for example i'm i will find a file that is a jpg file so type in ls and some star and then jpg so as you can see i have no files that contains this uh type and yeah another is that for example l s i type in this and then you, as you can see i'm looking for a certain directory that contains var and then ends in log and if you click enter if you click enter yeah it came out like this the different options of the directory that you can choose and yeah so it shows you the options of our mobile software dynasty and everything so as you can see this wildcard search the directories recursively and yeah for this video this is simply like i have explained the five uh, features of fish and i hope you understand uh, i hope that this video helps you even though it's not big i hope it gets to help you in a small way so that's it for today's video thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.